Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, I am finally here with my full collection flip through for January of 2023. I will probably do another one of these halfway through the year in June just to give an update of what my collection's looking like after this. And yeah, I'm really excited to do this flip through versus the very first video on this channel, which was a flip through from I think February of 2022. If you go back and watch that video versus now, the change in my collection is actually insane. Like, it's just crazy how much I've accumulated over the year when I really sat down and took collecting seriously. So I'm really, really excited to show you the improvement and how far along my collection has come. I really, really, truly love my collection. I love everything that I've collected. I'm kind of now into the swing of collecting only the things that I really want instead of stressing out over the things that everyone else has, even if I might not want it as much. And I think I've struck a really, really good balance with my collection versus wanting to with, sorry, I've struck a good balance with being satisfied with my collection and trying to have as many things as other people, you know? <laughs> so here, I'll just give a little bit of an intro. If this is the first video that you're watching from me, hi, my name is Taylor. I'm 25 years old. I am a BTS collector, and I also collect Subin from TXT, but that is not in this video. That collection is not in this video because there hasn't been really any changes since the last video I made of his. If you're interested of seeing that collection, I have a video on his collection. Um, I haven't gotten anything new since then. Um, I'll link it in my bio down below, and you can go ahead and watch that. Um, I will definitely be getting new additions to that when the new album comes out, but other than that, um, this is just solely my BTS collection. Um, the way I collect BTS, Yoongi is my ultimate bias, so I collect pretty much everything that I want to of Yoongi, and then my other biases are Taehyung and Jungkook. Um, I collect a little bit differently, so for albums, Korean albums, I do collect all three of them. I collect Yoongi, Jungkook, and Taehyung. For DVD cards and Blu-ray cards, I collect Taegi, so both Taehyung and Yoongi. I don't collect Jungkook for that. And then for tour stuff, live show stuff, I only collect Yoongi. So it's a little all over the place. You'll kind of see what I mean by how I collect once I flip through these binders. But that's how I collect. Um, I have five different binders here so far. I have a few things that aren't in these binders, and I'll explain why. But this is the bulk. 98.9% .9 of my collection is in these five binders. I have two A4 binders and then three A5 binders. This will be changing once Prism Platinum. Um, I'm able to order the big A5 binders from them. I will be kind of revamping again. I feel like I'm always revamping my collection, but revamping the way things are laid out once I finally am able to get on my get my hands on those chunky A5 binders that they're coming out with. But um, I will link everything that I use down in the description. So if you have any questions, please look in the description first before, and then I'll answer it if I somehow forgot it. Um, so I'll put, I'll also put chapters on this video. So if there's only one part of my collection that you guys want to see, um, feel free to skip ahead to that, but I would really love it if you stayed and watched the whole video. Um, so let's just get into it. Okay. Starting off with the first binder. I apologize if this is not, uh, fully centered. I'm starting, I'm trying out a new filming location in my house. Um, so we'll see how this goes with this video. And if I like it enough, I'll probably continue to film in this location. Um, but here's the album number one. This is where a lot of the collection stays. It is the BTS Korean and Japanese album collection. Um, I forgot to mention in the previous clip, but I only for, I do collect Japanese as well, but I only collect Yoongi for Japanese. So for Korean albums, I collect these three. And then for Japanese album and other things, I only collect Yoongi. So chances are I probably collect Yoongi for it. I collect Yoongi for everything. Um, it's just the other boys that I don't collect for everything. So anyways, um, we'll start off with this um, binder. This is not a complete collection. This collection is nowhere near complete. Um, that's one of my big goals for this coming year. Um, and I'll actually talk about my goals for collecting for the 2023 year in the last clip in this video. So if you want to hear, if you're interested in that, I don't know if anyone is, you can go ahead and stick around and watch the whole video and see what I'm going to be focusing on this year, because I'm really trying to cut back on overconsumption, um, 
and stuff, if you know what I mean. I feel like that's a big problem with the K-pop community, which it's also, I'm not going to get into this rant right now, <laughs> but I'll talk about it at the end of the video. Okay, so we'll start with the flip through. I'm very bad, if you've been watching this channel, you know I'm very bad at knowing what the name of things are, so... I'm gonna try really hard, but like I'm really bad at versions of things. So if I'm not the person to come to if you're learning about <laughs> photo cards. Um, but yeah, this is just my collection. So I have this um little glossy, I think it's like a glossy file. I don't really know what it's called. Let's like, see, we're already starting with that. But um I've always had this at the front of my collection. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. This is um one of the Army Fan Club um kit things. I think it's the fifth. Yeah, see? I don't know. Fifth Army fan club kit. Um, uh, and I just have Yoongi's here. And then I have these dividers. Like I said in a previous video, I'm not sure if I'm in love with them, but that's what we have so far. So here I have a signed page from a fan sign, Dark and Wild from Yoongi. And then I have Jungkook's right here. And then Namjoon's is also on the back of Yoongi's. And I plan to, I am nowhere in a rush and I don't think it will be finished this year, but I would eventually like to have at least one signed page from every era they did a fan sign for, for Yoongi. I have Yoongi's um, a signed page from Young Forever, the Young Forever album, and then I also have a signed page from HYWH Part 2 from Yoongi, but those are framed in my room. <laughs> so I don't have those here in that binder, but I do have them. So that is like a bigger overall goal of mine that I'm not focused on finishing this year, but eventually. So here we have Oh Are You Late 2, the SLA um, School Love Affair Special Edition cards. These are not the first version. These are the second version that came out a few years ago, um, which is crazy to say a few years ago. <laughs> um, but yes, and then Dark and Wild. As you can see, I do not have any of Jungkook's cards here and that is a big goal for 2023 is to finish jungkook's album collection and then here we have um the sla bookmarks i don't have tays but i do have jungkook's because i did pull this when i bought the album so here we go i'm not big on if it's arms out or arms in i know some people are really particular i just want at least one bookmark so yes these are kind of <laughs> off and i do have yingi's signed SLA bookmark like where he signed it so that is also framed in my room it's not in this binder and then we have HYWH part one I only have Yoongi planning to get Tae, Jungkook and then the group and then here is where we have HYWH part two still need Jungkook and then I do have all three of them for dope which is a great accomplishment of mine I actually got Jungkook for the cheapest which is crazy to me because he was the most expensive um so this was a really nice treat um, and then we have You Never Walk Alone and then Young Forever here. I'm planning on getting Jungkook and then this page will be completed because I did pull the group when I originally bought the album. And then we have the Wings photo cards here. I did pull Tay when I originally bought this album when I was first becoming an ARMY. Um, so we'll get Jungkook and go from there. So this is a new addition that well, hasn't been on my channel yet. I did recently get the um, Love Yourself vinyl. Love Yourself Her vinyl. Um, so these came with it. It was a nice little OT7 set. I do wish they would have maybe... <laughs> used new pictures because we've seen these pictures before and now they're just in photo card form um so it's nice that they included an ot7 set because i don't think i would have really gone through the trouble to collect all of them just because we've seen these pictures before but yes i just put it here at the beginning of the era so then here is love yourself her the first three versions like i said i'm really bad at version um, name, so I'm not even going to list them all, but I'm only missing Jungkook for this one version up here, and then I'm missing him for this version here too. Um, I'm planning to put the, if I ever am so lucky enough to get the Her Lenticular, I know it's very, very expensive, I'm planning to put it here, um, but for now we just have the Tear Lenticular. So the way that I've kind of done the, I, the one thing I hate about collecting three members is that on a nine pocket page there's always going to be one version left off if it's a four version album so what i've kind of done to my best of my ability to display it is i'll put the other version on another page where it's split going into 
another version, if that makes sense. Um, I don't love it. I would love to have all of it on one page, but that's not how it's worked out so far. So, and I don't think it ever will because this is the size of the binder. So anyways, this is what I've done. So we have Love Yourself Her going into Love Yourself Tear. So I don't have Tay. I'm almost complete, if you guys have noticed, I'm almost completed Young for album, Korean album. So I'm very close. I'm only a few cards away. This is one of the cards that I don't have. And then here's the rest of Tear. This is probably one of my favorite, once it's finished, will be one of my favorite pages in this binder. I absolutely love these three versions of Tear. I just think Tear, all of Tear's photo cards are top tier. And Tears, if you don't know, Tear is my favorite, along with Young Forever, Tear and Young Forever are my favorite BTS albums. So I just love this page so much. And then we all don't really care for the answer photo cards, but I do like the colors that I have going on on this page. So here's the first three versions of answer. And then here is the last version. So here um, is just going to be fillers. I'll figure out something to put here once it's all completed so it looks cohesive. But now we're going into persona. So here's version one for persona. Fun fact, this was the very first BTS card I ever pulled. I... The very first album I bought was Persona, like a day after I started standing. Um, and I pulled Yoongi. And funny enough, Yoongi wasn't my bias at the time. Um, Tay was actually my very first uh, BTS bias. It only lasted like a week or two before I became a Yoongi bias. And I've been ulted with Yoongi ever since. But I just love, I just kind of find it meaningful how... He was my very pool, first BTS pool ever, and I didn't even know that he was going to be, like, my favorite person in the world. Like, if you've watched this channel, if you know me in real life, you know that I'm going off on a tangent, but Yoongi is quite literally one of, if not my most favorite person in the world, other than my family, but I just, I love him so much. I adore him. I am just quite literally infatuated with him i think i could literally make a whole video about my thoughts on him and you guys hear me say some of this stuff in my videos but i've never really gone into depth with it but i think he's such an amazing person and i just love that he shares his brain with us if that makes sense i'm not gonna go into this because like i said this could be a whole 10 minute video just my thoughts on yoongi and how much i adore him but Yes, I thought that was really meaningful that he was my first pool and he ended up being like my favorite person in the world. So here's the rest of Persona now that I've put that word vomit on you guys. Here's the rest of Persona. I'm almost done with uh, with Persona for all three of them. I'm just missing two Jungkook cards, which is really exciting. And then from Persona, we're going into Map of the Soul 7. And here for Map of the Soul 7, my plan was to get all of the group cards. So we'll do, I think this is version 1 and then version 2 and then version 3 and 4. And then I'll put the version 1 group and version 2 group here. And then version 3 group and version 4 group here. I do not have any of Jungkook's cards for Mot 7, but I am almost done with Tay. I'm just missing one. So that's that. And then I actually pulled Yoongi in my Persona album with that persona card I showed you so this is my very first postcard I pulled and then I pulled these two I'm planning on to eventually have OT7 it's not a priority of mine I don't really want to pay for these because they're so common so if anyone wants to send me extras that they have for free be my guest I'll pay for shipping <laughs> and then here we have the start of B so I did collect an OT7 set for B B was the very first comeback that i was present for the whole comeback process if you don't know i am a army i started standing in 2020 um right before a few months before b came out was when i um actually right around dynamite was when i became an army so i'm a newer army um and i started collecting in february of 2021 so i did collect all of these i thought it was a, a meaningful since it was my very first comeback with them and i wanted to have all seven and then this is kind of my catch-all lucky draw page. Um, like I said, I collect everything for Yoongi. So this is just all Yoongi. These are the lucky draws from B. These took me the longest to find. I literally just found this a few months ago. I finally have them all. So these are the two first lucky draws, the original lucky draws that they did. This is the pre-order benefit for B. Um, and then these are 
two other, I don't know the shops, like I said, I don't know the name of anything, but these are two of the other lucky draws for around two that they did, as well as um, these two, I think are round three, I wanna say, and then these are the lenticular, the Japanese lucky draws. I don't even know if you can see, but these are the lenties. You can't even see the, let me see if I can get this in the right. The light is not lighting today, but if you can kind of see, these are these two are the lenties, the heart hollow and then the star hollow right here. Okay, moving on from B. So now we get into butter. So before I decided to start collecting Tay and Jungkook, I would make these pages with all the album cards, lucky draws, and the pre-order benefits from every era that they've done those things for. Um, but now I'm running into the problem where I'm starting to collect Tay and Jungkook. So this page will be revamped. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet um, because I only want to collect Tay and Jungkook for album cards and not lucky draws or pre-order benefits. So I don't know what I'm going to do about these here, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. So here is Yoongi's two album cards from Butter, um, Peaches and Cream, and then here is his pre-order benefit. I have the two group cards here, and then this is Yoongi's uh, Japanese pre-order pre benefit for Butter. And then these are the three Power Station, MTU, and um, oh my gosh, Soundwave. I'm forgetting the names. Soundwave lucky draws for butter here and then on the back i do have one of tay's butter cards i don't have anywhere else to put it right now and i don't want to just leave it on its own page so he's just chilling back here until i get the rest of them and i have and i figure out how i'm gonna rearrange everything and then i do have almost everyone's little message card i'm just missing june here and like i said if anyone has an extra june one i don't really want to pay for it and they want to send it to me and would be so kind to let me know but otherwise i don't have his yet and i'll try to eventually get it but here's jin yoongi and then hobi jimin tae and we have jungkook up here i did actually pull yoongi for the butter pre-order for benefit right here the film strip and then i traded for him i have his proof pre-order benefit this is kind of a random page but we're moving into proof now so here is the OT7 set that everyone got with the Proof Standard Edition if you purchased it. And then I also collected OT7 for Proof. Um, the These are the Compact Edition. Um, it was kind of a special comeback and pretty much everyone I think collected OT7 for this comeback. So I'm really, really happy to have this set because I think it's actually a really pretty set. And then here we have, I also decided to just go ahead and collect an OT7 for the standard edition as well. I'm just missing Jungkook and then this will be a complete set. So this is what I have for now. And then I had so many compact cards, <laughs> compact editions that I bought that I just decided to go ahead and collect OT7 for the compact postcard. So here is bias line. I have Yoongi, Taeyang, and Jungkook, and then the group card. And then here will is the rest of the boys for the um, compact postcard. Um, we will get Hobie and Jin here eventually. And then moving into the standard postcards, I have Yoongi and Tae here. I still don't have Jungkook's, but he will go on the back once I eventually get his. And then here's kind of, again, my whole catch-all page. So here's Yoongi's pre-order benefit for um, proof. I'm planning to get his lucky draw that you could get um, could get for proof right here when I eventually get it. And then this is his Japanese lucky draw hollow card. Very dark. Um, not the best card, but I have it. And then the collector's edition kind of threw everything off that I was originally planning on doing. So I'm planning on collecting. I didn't buy the collector's edition. I'm just planning on getting, um, I already have all of Yoongi's stuff from the collector's edition, but I'm planning on getting Jungkook and Taeyong's too. So this version of this card from the collector's edition, Tae and then Jungkook will go here when I get them eventually. And then here's uh, Yoongi's three lucky draws from Proof, Power Station, MTU, and Soundwave. I don't know which is which, but they're all three of them are here. I got them in one go, which was nice. And then I did love this version of the OT7 set from the collector's edition. So I did decide to collect an OT7. Right now I only have Jun, Yoongi, and Tae. So this is where the rest of them will go when I eventually get them. And then the little postcards, AR cards, whatever they're called, I will eventually have Jungkook and Taeyong and we'll put them here. 
and then the little lenticular that came with the collector's edition i will have the other two here so that is the end for Korean albums. I do plan to get eventually some of the exit, the proof exhibition stuff. I don't know if I'll put that in this album binder or probably will put it in my miscellaneous binder. But for now, this is what I have for Korean albums. And then we're going to move into Japanese albums next. So for the Japanese albums, I've been toying with the idea of eventually maybe putting this stuff into an A5 binder but I don't collect two members for Japanese. I only collect one. So I feel like I don't even have enough stuff to put in an A5 and I might as well just leave it back here. I don't know. We'll see what I decide to do in the coming year. Maybe I'll decide to eventually click Tay. Um, but for now I'm still collecting only Yoongi. So I call this kind of my catch all page of Japanese things. I don't know if that makes sense, but this page is very valuable to me. All of these cards, I think, are very valuable and some of my favorite cards ever. So right here we have the Young Forever, the Taiwan pre-order benefit. I'm so glad to finally have this card. We'll show you it a little bit closer. He is so pretty and cute and I just love this photo shoot with his little freckles. So I'm really excited to finally have this card going into the new year and then... We have his Kayoninka card right here. And then this was the card that you got um, from the, uh, I think this is the first time that they ever played at the Coisera. I'm not saying that correctly, um, Dome. And I think this is like a memorative card for the first time that they did a show there. And then these are all Japanese fan club renewal benefits. So this is, um, I think this is, Oh my god, I'm really going to butcher this. I think this is Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, and then Magic Shop. And these are if you renewed your benefit, your fan club membership at the venue, I'm pretty sure. The lighting is really bad to show you these hollow effects, but these two were some of my most wanted cards. And to be honest, before this year, I never thought I would have them. So I'm so excited to have these and this one as well. But just these two, the hollow cards are some of my favorite in this collection and then this was the mobile pc the renewal pc you got you got an ot7 set but i only have yungis right here and then i just put this on this page because i didn't have room for it on my other page but this is also a venue card i think this is the koisera dome venue card please correct me if i'm wrong um for i need you that's what we have and then moving on to the next one I'm missing some of these cards. Another big goal for this year is to complete this Japanese collection. Finally, I'm just missing No More Dream, Danger, and Wake Up. So here we have um, the rest of them right here. I don't want to name them all because I'm going to forget. See, I'm already forgetting. See, Boy in Love. And then we have um, For You, I Need You, I Need You Christmas, Run, and For and um, Youth. See, I actually kind of did pretty well, I think. Yeah. And then I'm missing a few here, Fake Love. I eventually want to get the um, other one of this one that is the Pre-Order Benefit. And like I said, I'm really bad at these names, so I'm not gonna try and butcher them. And then these are the BTS, the best cards. They are not in chronological order. They're just in the order that I wanted to put them. And when I eventually get the Pre-Order Benefit for Yoongi, he will go right here. And then this is kind of just a random page. These will probably move eventually. Like I, like I said, it's just a <laughs> not fully random page. So these are from the fortune box. I'm just missing Yoongi's S version. And then the, I have two of the same card here. These is Yoongi's, um, their butter, hybe insight, lucky draw things, whatever they're called. But I have two of them here. They'll probably eventually be moved, but this is what we have for right now. And that's the end of my little tiny Japanese collection and the end of this binder. So we will move on to my DVD and Blu-ray binder next. Okay, now we're on to my absolute favorite part of my collection. This is my DVD slash Blu-ray slash broadcast card collection. Um... <clears throat> These are all my favorite cards. If you know me, you know I love DVD cards. They're my favorite. I use DVD interchangeably with Blu-ray. So I just count all Blu-ray as DVD, if you know what I mean. So from here on out, I'm just going to say DVD. But DVD cards are my absolute favorites. I love them so much. And I'm really excited with how my collection has grown. I'm 
one a few cards away from basically completing my Yoongi DVD collection, which is insane to me because I only had a few going into this year or going into 2022. And to see how much it's grown this year is amazing. And I'm making really good progress on my Tay DVD collection. So this is the binder where I collect both Tay and Jung uh, not Jungkook, both Tay and Yoongi for DVDs. So let's get into it. So this is what, the first of my three A5 binders. So right here we have nothing because I'm planning to save these spaces for the MD Diary photo cards and the 2014 summer package card. So I actually have Yoongi secured. He isn't with me yet, but I do have that one secured. I don't have Tay or um, Yoongi secured yet for the MD Diary. As you know, those are very hard to and, and expensive cards to obtain. So I'm hoping that this year I can at least get Yoongi for that. So here we have is the third um, fan meeting. And then this is the venue card that people got at the venue. Um, this is probably one of my favorite, if not my all-time favorite card ever. I'm so happy I finally have this in my collection. And then this is third muster. This is all going in chronological order. I used to sort them by, like, I had DVD and then muster and fan meeting and then memories. But I kind of switched it to chronological because I like having it that way. So third fan meeting venue, third fan meeting, third muster. And then this is kind of out of order, um, but this is the... Seasons Greetings 2017. This is the first take card I have. You'll see why this is out of order on the next page because I'm planning to put Memories of 2016. I'm going to get four of my favorite cards from them. I don't have any right now. I know there's more than four cards, but for my collection purposes, I'm going to choose just to collect my four favorites. So I wanted them all to be on the same page. So I'm planning on putting them here, and that's why I put season's greetings 2017 here instead so this is where memories of 2016 will go and then we have the wings tour pcs um don't have tays yet and then guys this is probably one of my most prized positions along with the third um fan meeting photo card i didn't think i would ever have this card i started collecting in this community when these were already extremely overpriced so i didn't think i was going to be able to get it but I found it for, if you watch the video that I got this in, I found this for a very, very good deal. And I'm so glad that I did because it is one of my most prized possessions either. And I mentioned in another video that I might have taste soon because I had a friend on Instagram that was going to be selling his. And then I said in the last video I wasn't going to get it. Well, that friend reached out to me literally a few days ago. And I'm happy to say I haven't paid for it yet, but... I will have Tay's 2017 Blu-ray card. Okay, sorry, my phone shut off on me. Also, I'm sorry, I don't know why I sound so out of breath in these clips, but we'll move. Anyways, yes, I will be having Tay's, we'll be getting Tay's 2017, Memories of 2017 Blu-ray card, which is insane to me, let alone, I never thought that I would have one of these, let alone two, so I'm just so excited so excited to eventually have that in my collection it will be soon pretty much so moving on we have memories of 2017 dvd and then this is the double side of the blu-ray so tays will be here um and yeah i like on this side so this is kind of out of order yoongi's not here like he usually is but i like when you look at the page like this having him here when it's on this side so sacrifices <laughs> anyways Here's fourth muster. These are also double-sided, but I decided not to display the back sides of these because you can't really see their faces and it would have thrown off my entire like um, layout plan. So I just went ahead and changed it. I do like that these are both in blue because they match. And then we have fourth fan meeting here. And then moving into here, we have this is Love Yourself New York DVD and then Love Yourself New York Blu-ray and then Love Yourself Europe Blu-ray and Love Yourself Europe DVD. I liked having these like kind of cornered like this. So the selfies are here and the performance photos are here. I actually have, um, I'm trying to remember which one it is. I have Tay's on the way for New York, the New York Blu-ray. So that'll be really exciting when I finally get that. And then flipping here, we have Love Yourself Soul. I'm pretty sure Soul... Actually, let, not me, let me not contradict myself. So I'm not even going to say that. But then we have Love Yourself Soul right here. And then 
I forgot if I was gonna put anything right here. Oh yeah, I think I'm eventually to keep these because I wanted to keep these on the same page because these are both memories. I didn't want to split them up. I decided I might eventually collect Jimin and Jungkook for these. Um, since the Soul PCs are a little easier to get than like say Europe Blu-ray, <laughs> the Soul PCs are pretty easier to collect. So I'm gonna find Jimin and Jungkook eventually and put them right here. So I'll have a little, I know I said Yoongi, Tae, and Jungkook are my bias line, but if we're talking like a full person, four person bias line, then Jimin is in there too. So I'm gonna get those two and then they'll go right here. That's what these fillers are for. And then we have Memories of 2018 DVD and then Memories of 2018 Blu-ray. This is also a nice card that I never really thought I would have since it is pretty pricey, but I'm so glad that I have this in my collection. And then moving in to, we have Fifth Muster and then Fifth Fan Meeting here. I do have Fifth Fan Meeting on the way, which is one of my favorite Tay DVD cards of all time. I'm so excited to finally be adding that to my collection. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited to finally have this. These two cards are the Love Yourself, um, Speak Yourself, the final. Um, these are actually supposed to go chronologically in between this two, but I didn't want to split these up on the same page. So it's okay. They're right here. They're right after. It still works chronologically to me. Um, and then we have uh, Memories of 2019 Blu-ray because these are double-sided. So I put the Blu-ray on this side so you can see it with the DVD when, I, when you flip back over. And I also have Tay secured for this and he will be on the way soon. So right here, it'll finally be a full eight pocket page when I finally get um, him in the mail, but he is secured and he will be here soon. So we have Memories of 2019 DVD, the Memories of 2019 Blu-ray, a double side. This is the MOTS 1 Blu-ray and then the MOTS 1 DVD photo cards. And then moving into here, I know these are technically not DVD cards, but I wanted to put them here, not in my miscellaneous binder. So these are the MOTS 1 concept book cards. Um, this is, I don't forget, these are both route and clue. I never remember which version is which, but those are the versions. And then here is the hollow card. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put here. I might make some fillers because I'm not really planning on collecting any other members other than Tay. They're not my favorite cards, but I wanted to have a complete collection. So they're here. And then moving into Memories of 2020, we have the Memories of 2020 DVD and then the Memories of 2020 Blu-ray. And then the next thing that happened was Suwuzu. So we have Suwuzu DVD and Suwuzu Blu-ray. I love having this eight pocket page completely filled out. This is what my collection, I'm hoping my DVD collection to look mostly like by the end of next year to mostly have it complete. Um, I'm not gonna hold myself to having the like, super expensive cards by the end of next year, but I would like to get most of the Tay cards that I don't have. So I'm hoping a majority of this binder looks like this by the end of next year. And then moving into 2021, we have Memories of 2021 DVD. I decided to collect a um, OT7 set for this since 20, I was a fan starting in 2020, but 2021 was the very first full entire year that I spent as a BTS fan. So I wanted to have these cards and this is also pictures from when they were in LA um, on James Corden. I'm from LA, if you didn't know, I went to all four days of PTD LA, so that made these cards a little bit extra, even more special, so that's why I wanted an OT7 set. I'm just missing Tay, and then this will be a complete set. And then on the back here, because I don't really have anywhere else to put it, this is the 20 Memories of 2021 Blu-ray. Um, he's just going to stay here, and I don't have Yoongi yet. And I don't know what to put in here yet. I'm hoping they eventually do come out with a PTD LA or a PTD Vegas DVD. So I can put those somewhere in here. But for now, this is just how we're going to leave it. I do have the winter package 2021, I think, where they're in the snow. I do have Yoongi's card, um, but I don't really have a spot for it. So eventually I'll rework. I, and I didn't want to like put it in the middle of here and kind of ruin the whole layout that I have going on so eventually I'll put that somewhere but I do have that card and that's one of the cards that's just not in one of these binders at the moment but I do have it and then this is the epilogue um card that came with the epilogue dvd the 2016 um I didn't want to put it right in the middle of everything breaking up the layout that I have so I'm just leaving it back here eventually wanting to get Tay and then there's the other um square photo cards I forgot what it's for. I think it's for prologue, um, 
and I will eventually have those. The only two cards that I count as DVD cards in this collection that I don't have for Yoongi is the Prologue Square photo card and then the MD Diary. Otherwise, his collection is complete, which is crazy for me to say. Um, so I'm hoping I can reach reach that goal by the end of next year. I mean this year. And then I do have the Wings Lenties here. Um, I These are not DVD cards. These are from the concept book, but I, want, I kind of group some of the important stuff in here. So I have this back here, um, and Tay will go right here when I eventually get his. And then here is the um, Love Yourself, uh, the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself London um, bookmark. So I do have Yoongi, and I have Tay back here. I actually pulled Tay when I bought this DVD, and my friend sent me Yoongi's that she had. Um, and then I also have, I do have the Speak Yourself, the final DVD, and I do have every other members bookmarked but for now I'm just going to put Yumi and Tay's here so I have these two back here and the other members will go in my miscellaneous binder eventually you'll see that they're not in that binder right now it's because I don't have any more room and I don't have any more pocket pages so eventually when I'm able to fix that they will go in my miscellaneous binder I do not have the oh and that, that's a third card of you I don't have I do not have the Sao Paulo bookmarks yet um hopefully I'll be able to get those this year and they'll go right in here and then back here is the start of my um broadcast collection i only collect yungi for broadcasts i am nowhere near done for broadcasts broadcast is not in a, a huge goal of mine really when i find them for good deals i get them but it's not something i'm really focused on yet i eventually would like to completely complete Yungi's broadcast collection, but there are a few cards in there like his dope and his war of hormone that are extremely hard to get and expensive. And so I don't want to stress myself out and setting that goal to finish that this year. Cause for me personally, I don't think that's possible this year. Eventually, yes, but I don't think so this year. So right here I have his fire broadcast, and then this is his idol broadcast card, as well as the boy in love, uh, boy in love, boy with love week one and two broadcast cards and then I have his on week one and two broadcast cards as well as his fake love broadcast card back here. I know this is out of order from what they are but I didn't want to split up the boy with love and the on cards um, and that's what would have happened if I put them in the correct order. So I'm just leaving fake love back here for now. And then I forgot to mention but I do actually have a few, um, when I say a few I mean three, butterfly dream cards back here. So here's two of Yungi's and then I do have the um, Yoon Cook card right here, which I love this card. This is one of my favorite things in my collection, and I'm so happy to have that. Butterfly Dream is not a priority. I'm not looking to finish it. Um, I would like to get, eventually get one more, so I have even numbers right here, but like I said, not a priority. And then I also included these back here. These are the Armypedia postcards. I don't have um, Tay's. Um, I eventually would like to get Tay's and maybe then I would put them in my miscellaneous binder, but I only have Yoongi's full set. And this is also another one of my favorite things in this collection, in my entire collection. So I like to keep it in this binder since this binder is my favorite binder um, and I do flip through it a lot. So here we go. Here is all of these cards. They're so pretty and I'm so glad I have them and they fit perfectly in these Prism Platinum pocket pages. So that's the end of the DVD binder. I'm hoping to make a lot more progress on this this year. And yes, so moving on to the next one. Okay, now we have moved on to my tour slash muster slash fan meeting slash live show um, binder. I interchangeably, I just say tour binder, even though I know like fourth muster and man, and, eh, fourth muster, muster and fan meetings aren't tours. I just call this my tour and live show binder. So that's what encompasses this entire binder. Um, so I just have two pictures in the front here. Um, this is this is from the very, very first time that I ever saw BTS. I went to the AMAs and I saw them at the AMAs in 2021. So I have just this group picture they took. And then this is a group picture from the very first PTD LA show that they did because I was there at night one too. So I just thought they're special little photos of times that I've seen them live. So I just have them there on the front. So flipping forward, we, um, this is, I think I've, I have not flipped through this binder in a while, so please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a, I made this chronological, so it should be in chronological order. And then these are just like things from the Laneige tent at PTD LA, 
they're kind of bent a little bit and I have nowhere else to put them. So I just kind of keep them right here. <laughs> so anyways, starting, this is by no means a complete collection. One of my big goals for this coming year is to really focus on the older live show and tour stuff that I'm missing so I can try and complete that. Um, so this is the earliest thing that I have. So this is from Second Muster. I only have three of Yungi's cards. One of my goals when I started in 2022 uh, was to complete this this year. Uh, this past year did not happen. So maybe it'll happen next year. The next thing that I have is the Wings tour photo cards. I only have two of Yungi's. And then here are the wings, the final. I've um, made a few, excuse me, I've made some progress. I'm missing two of these and then the lenticular. Um, but I do have this essay book, um, Yungi, right here. And I do actually have the actual essay book too. So I just love these cards. I love his, his hair and I just love the way that these cards look. So moving on, we have fourth muster here. I'm missing three of these. And then fourth fan meeting, which I have this complete set. I got this from a mutual of mine on Instagram. The next one I have is, I always forget which ones these are. Let me see. Love Yourself. I think these is the, this is the Korean Love Yourself cards because I think the Japanese, please correct me if I'm wrong, are the ones with the flowers. So this was one of the very first full sets that I had in tour cards. And I just love this set to this day so much. I just think these ones especially are so, so pretty. And then we have here is my other favorite set. This is the Love Yourself. I think this is the Japan cards. I'm only missing two. I'm hoping to finish this set this year um, just because it's so beautiful. I think this is one of the best concepts they've ever had um, for tour photo cards ever. And then here we have the Love Yourself, the Japan edition photo cards here. Um, I have this full set and I actually was able to find this on Nikio before they shut down. Um, which is rare. I don't usually buy full sets on Nikio because they're usually a scam. So love yourself Japan edition. And then I just have these three cards here um, because these are the three Yunkuk unit cards. I don't usually collect unit cards, but I love Yunkuk so much and I love these cards so much that I had to have them in my collection. So I'm eventually hoping to have the Takey units. I think it's from fourth muster or fourth fan meeting. I don't remember which one. And I'll put them here on this kind of miscellaneous page. And then here is the fourth, like I said, I have to look and I don't know. This is the fifth muster cards, which I never thought I would have this as a full set because these are faked a lot, but I got these from a trusted seller that was selling a full set and I was able to obtain these and I just love them so much. I think they're some of the best tour cards they have. And then here is the... Um, the photo cards the little id cards i don't know what these are called i'm not going to take them out because they're shoved pretty far in there but i'm missing just one of these so maybe not a huge priority to finish this but maybe i will eventually and then these are the fifth fan meeting magic shop um set i never thought i would be this close to finishing this set i'm one card away um because like these are faked I feel like even more than these ones back here. Um, but I just got all these from trusted sellers. So um, I'm really excited to have these. And then we have the Speak Yourself, the final photo cards. I still need quite a few halfway there. Um, yeah. These are the Map of the Soul tour photo cards that never happened um and i still got the full set um it was really cheap i think someone was selling it for like 30 30 bucks so that's what i bought these for and i just have them here and then this very similar looking bang bang con photo card set here um i do love the, the this color of his hair i wish that he had kept it like this for a lot longer if you know me blonde yungi is my favorite not like like bleach blonde yungi but this blonde yungi back here the dirty blonde is my favorite color on him in any variation of it um and i wish he would go back to it because i just think it looks so natural on him anyways here are the the bang bang con little message cards i'm missing the gold one um excuse me so maybe eventually that'll go here and then i just have the map of the soul mots one um mots one set right here i think this was one of the very first tour cards that i ever owned and then i just have the two photos here for yungi 
And then now we're moving into Suuzu. I have all of Yoongi's Suuzu photo cards right here. And then the PTD. I know they didn't call this PTD LA, but this is basically PTD LA. Took me forever to find this card. I think everyone else had the same problem that was collecting Yoongi's full set, but I finally finished this um, this year and it was really nice to have that done. And then here's his two photos. And then this is a set that I've been wanting to finish for a while. I just haven't made it a priority. These are the little message cards photo uh, that they had, the OT7 set. So I'm hoping to finish or get close to finishing the OT7 set this year. And like I said, because PTD LA was like the first BTS concert that I went to, I wanted to have this full set to kind of commemorate it. And then here, I just had a lot of extra photo cards from some of the sets that I bought. So I just decided to put some of Jungkook and Taeyang's cards in here. These are a mix of the PTD Seoul and PTD LA cards here. And then here is Yoongi's kind of PTD uh, Seoul and Vegas. This is where it starts. These are, um, I hate that they did like uh, a four... Uh, four cards set for Seoul after having like eight card sets for so long. It kind of threw everything off, but I did find a pocket page that was able to fit all of these. So these are all of, or not this one, these are all of Yoongi's four out of four PTD Seoul. And then this was like the special card, the selfie card that came in a set with the others. And then this was his kind of like message card thing that I got. This is from PTD Vegas. This was the hotel photo card. I did go to Vegas. I went to the second weekend, but I did not stay in one of the hotels. I just ended up getting this afterwards. I bought it. <laughs> so I just leave him here because I don't really have another place to put him until he, he finds his other spot. He's just going to rest there. And then here is some of the lucky draws from PTD. So these are all... Um, these ones and these two are PTD Vegas. And then I have Yoongi's PTD. I think this is the LA. Yes, this is his LA lucky draw. And then I do have his Vegas lucky draw right here. They were the same one, but the backs were different. So I wanted both since when it comes to Yoongi, I feel like I'm kind of a completionist with certain areas. And then this was his um, Vegas live play photo card. I did not go to live play. I just went to the last two shows but I wanted to have this because it was different than these two. So I bought it off of someone. This is some real confetti that I got. I'm just using this as a placeholder until I finally get Jungkook's Vegas lucky draw. I don't know when that will be. And then I did get these myself. Um, I did go to the Vegas e photo exhibition when I was there. So I got my own set. My sister did and my mom did as well. So I just leave these here. I know they're technically exhibition stuff, but I count it as tour and live show because I was actually there for the shows <laughs> and then here at the back um these are just these are basically uh technically these are HYBE um the exhibition HYBE the PTD exhibition that they did at the HYBE Insight um but they're pictures of PTD obviously so I wanted to have them in this binder I just got the four um, exhibition photo cards for both Yoongi and Tay, and I left them here. And I'm thinking of making a little filler of one of the backs and putting it right here. So I like how that looked in the end with all of them. This is a binder I'm hoping to grow this year a lot more. Um, so hopefully you will see a big improvement in this in my either halfway year flip through or my next year flip through. So on to my second to last binder. So here, this is kind of my miscellaneous binder. I used to keep all of this stuff in an A4 giant binder, but I've mentioned before on this channel that I don't really care for miscellaneous stuff, like the bigger inclusions. I'm not a huge bigger inclusion person. I prefer to focus more on album, DVD, and tour stuff versus miscellaneous, like packages and all the extra stuff like magazines I don't really care about any of that stuff so I don't collect a lot of it so I wanted to keep the stuff that I did actually like from that binder I'm gonna probably sell the rest of the stuff that I don't want to keep um later this year but the stuff that I do want to keep is in here and this is a very very full if you can tell binder my plan for this is will not be staying in this binder i'm so glad that prison platinum is coming out with the big chunky a5 binders because i'm planning to put this stuff in a big chunky a5 binder because i have a few things that i don't have room for in here that are just sitting in my room 
um, very few things, but you'll see that eventually when I'm able to transfer all that over into a bigger A5 binder. Um, so most of what's in here is just like a lot of the DVD, the bigger DVD inclusions, um, because I do like to keep those, like the postcards and stuff, and then a few other random things that you'll see. So here we go. I don't think I've ever showed this binder on my channel yet. It's very messy, and I don't really like that it's not like super organized. So please, 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 I'm sorry it looks so bad. Yes, we're just going to go with it. So this is starting with Yoongi's Ono exhi exhibition stuff. I don't have every single one of his. I'm still missing a few, but I have a good majority of them. So I just liked having these here in the front. Also, another note that this binder, I've tried to make it chronological. I think I did a pretty good job of it. I might have messed up a few things, so please tell me if something's out of order. But for now, I've tried to make this chronological. So we're just going to flip through his Ono exhi uh, exhibition photos. Like I said, I'm still missing a few of them. I don't know which seasons they're from. They're totally out of order. But yes, here we go. And then here is the 2020 season's greetings. And then this one was from, um, I think, the fifth muster. This is a fifth muster live photo. And then here we have one of the group photos from Memories of 2020. And then the live photos from Memories of, of 2020, which was the on music video filming. And then I do have all of the um, Winter Package 2021 live photos here. I just put Jungkook's here on here so his was not just by himself, his on photo. Because he always ends up just by himself on the back. So here we go. And then I did cut the little accordion thing that came in it. Because I, I did get the, pack, the Winter Package. So I just cut them all up and put them here. And then here we have the start of the... Mott's one concept book photos. So I just kind of kind of put them back to back like this. I think these are such pretty photos. I love them so much. And then here are the little ticket cards that came in the, I think it was the DVD. And then I did, I do have two, three of these um, cards from the New Year's Eve um, for 2021. Thing that they did the performance i would like to eventually get taze to put it there um, but right now i just have yoongi jungkook and the group right here and then for this was for i think season's greetings of 2021 i actually pulled jungkook and i bought yoongi's i would like to eventually get taze um, but it's not a priority right now and then here's the little polaroids that came with it and then i did get the whole in the soup 2 set because I purchased the show, so I got the early bird thing. So here we go, here's that. And then we have the start of the Suwuzu photo. So I believe the the hollow ones are from the Blu-ray and these ones are from the DVD. So I just put them together with each member. I think these are so pretty. And then back here we have the group photo from Memories of 2021. And then here are the Live photos from Memories of 2021. Um, these are the um, DVD ones from Butter. And then here I just randomly, this should probably go behind these next ones. I need to rearrange it. But here is just some of the um, deco kit stuff. I did not buy the deco kit myself. I just bought these Yungi things off of someone else. <laughs> and then these are the cards from, I think, the Blu-ray of Memories of 2021. And then I just have the little Blu-ray benefit here. So this is the stuff that I choose to keep that I actually like instead of trying to overwhelm myself with getting every single merch drop they ever release because I don't want to consume that much. So this is just how I collect. I like to keep the things that I like that spark joy versus having a huge collection that feels messy and, organize, and unorganized to me and if I don't even like all this stuff. So I'm hoping to... Uh, transfer this in the coming months into a new bigger A5 binder and kind of rearrange it and make it look even better. So I'm so excited for that. Okay, and last but not least, this is a binder I have never shown on this channel yet. This is brand new. This is very, very tiny, but this is the last binder in this video. 
this is my solo works binder so for my solo works binder um my plan for solo works with it for the next few years that we're going to be having all these solo projects while they take their break and go to the military um my plan was to have a little a5 binder now i'm going to be buying every single album that each member releases but i'm not going to completely collect everything from every single member so my plan is to at least get a few things from each member and I'll show you how I've laid it out. Um, but I'm planning to completely collect both Tay and Yoongi's album release things. So pre-order benefits, anything else, lucky draws, all that for just Tay and Yoongi. Because I feel like it would get so overwhelming for every other member if I tried to do everything. So each member, I'm just going to collect um, a few cards for each that I like, my favorites, that kind of thing. And then for Tay and Yugi, I'll do everything. So like I said, this is a very, very, very small binder so far. So not much to see. So here we go. So starting with Hobie and Jack in the Box, we have two of the ones that you could get with the actual um, like album, um, Weaver's album, whatever it was called. And then this is his vinyl. I did get his Jack in the Box vinyl. It's so cute. This is probably one of my favorite photo cards of Hobie of like all time. So that's there, and then I'm planning on getting the third photo card, the photo card B that you can get, just to kind of round out this page. And then I was, um, I don't think I'm going to get the rest on here, so I'll just leave these back here. And then we have um, gins right here, so I'm planning on getting the other postcard to put right here. And then this is the card that I pulled from my astronaut um, album. I only bought one, but I do have <laughs> fillers for the ones that I want. I want that, the one album one that he has the stars on his cheek. I want the the I want all the album ones and then I really really want the MTU Lucky Draw. He's the one where he's pouting with his hand on his cheek and he's in the purple sweater. I think that's Jin's best photo card that he's ever had and I want it so bad so I will find a way to get it even if it's going to be super expensive. I want that here in my little astronaut collection. And then last but not least, we have Indigo here. So this is what I pulled from my album that I bought. And so the ones that I do want um, to put here are the Weavers, the both of the pre-order benefits. I want the global pre-order benefit and I want the US pre-order benefit. The one where he is doing a peace sign and then he's smiling in this one. It's really cute, I think. Um, yes. And then I just have two of the like postcards that came with the album. So pretty. I just love it. And that's my very, very tiny solo works binder so far. Um, that's all that is on here. And that is all for my collection, actually. Thank you so much if you watched this. In the next clip, I'm going to discuss some of my biggest goals for the upcoming year if you want to stick around and watch that. So I didn't actually end up recording a clip to put here about my goals and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about that in my next sorting video slash haul slash whatever video I post next. So I just wanted to say thank you guys again for watching if you watched this whole video through um, and I can't wait to see where my collection is in a year's or half a year's time from now. Um, just make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment if you want to. Okay, bye!